Welcome back to another EncodeVenter tutorial. My name is Brad Huddleston. I've had a lot of questions about uh, how to write a LAMPS data file outside of LAMPS and then import it into LAMPS. Um, and there are many reasons you'd want to do this. The functionality to uh, create atoms inside of LAMPS is pretty simple. So unless you're doing a pretty, uh, a very simple metallic structure, you almost have to use a tool outside of LAMPS to create a data file. So I'm going to start with something extremely simple for this first one. I'm going to use Python uh, to generate a data file and just write it by hand, essentially. Um, in future videos, we'll get into some more sophisticated uh, tools. So just a couple notes on that. I'm going to use Anaconda and Windows, um, and you can download that. The reason I'm going to do that is because uh, it comes with NumPy, which I'll use, um, but that's really the only thing you need for this, this case. Uh, the second thing is, uh, I'm going to, I've created a, a GitHub repository that'll have all these um, tutorial scripts in it, and you can check that out, and that way uh, you can just download that, and you'll have the potentials that I use, and you'll have the scripts that I am writing right now. So. Uh, hopefully that'll be helpful for you, um, and you can find links to both Anaconda and to uh, my GitHub repository in the description below. All right, so last thing I wanted to say is that I'm not going to teach you Python in this one, although if you want me to, uh, if you want me to make a Python video, just let me know because I'd be glad to do that. But I'm going to assume you know at least basic Python. Um, all right. So with that, let's just jump right into it. Uh, you can see I've created this file and I've uh, written out some comments of what I think this uh, what I think the script should look like. So as I mentioned, we're going to use we're going to use NumPy um, just for the array functionality uh, and for the random the random functionality as well. So I'm going to add that import at the top uh, first thing. The next thing we are going to need to know is how many atoms are we actually going to create? And we're going to say uh, maybe a thousand. Um, and then the, the size of the system that we're going to create it in. Now in this case we're just going to assume a cube and starting at the origin and so all we need is one dimension. And so we're going to say system size and we'll say 20 and that'll be 20 angstroms. All right, and then let's uh, let's generate some some and atom positions from that. So we're actually just going to generate them randomly for this case. Like I said, I'm going to start the very simplest case, and this is the quickest way we can get some atoms so that we can write a file. So we'll say we're going to create a list for all the positions, and then we're going to loop for the number of atoms and for each one of those we will add a random array of size 3 because it's three dimensions and then we're going to multiply this by the system size so what's going on here is this random function will give us a number between 0 and 1, or give us an array of numbers between 0 and 1, uh, a three-length array in this case. And so we want that number to actually be between 0 and our system size. So we'll just multiply that by the system size. Okay, so that's created our atoms essentially, and so now comes the real, um, the real part of this tutorial. How do we actually write the data file? It's actually quite simple. Um, you can also look on the the lamps, uh, lamps documentation site, and you can find. Let me pull that up here for you real quick. If you go to read data, so I'm just going to search for that, and you see the read data command. If you scroll down here, you'll see all of the uh, the formats of your data file. And so that's where I'm going to pull all of this from. So if we go back here, um, first I need to open a file 
to store all this in, I'm going to call it random data. And I'm going to open it to write to it. Um, so kind of the the convention is to use a dot data, but it should not matter when you're importing it into LAMPS, just so long as the actual format of the file is formatted as a data file, um, which is a, a text format, by the way. OK, so we'll do that. OK, so now the first line in your uh, data file is actually a comment line, so it's ignored completely. Um, so we're going to write just kind of a description there. We'll say random atoms, and we're going to say written for Codeventer tutorial. And I'm going to put an extra new line on the end of this one so that there's a space in between uh, a space in between the this line and where we actually start the header, and that's just for clarity uh, in in the file. So the header is where we specify the number of atoms, the number of atom types, and the the box dimensions. Uh, you can also specify um, if you have a non-cubic or non um, rectangular box, you can specify the tilt, the tilt, uh, the tilts as well. Okay, so the number of atoms you need to write like this. So you'll say the number of atoms. So I'm going to use the format. In other words, what this is going to look like is it's going to say 1,000 atoms. And that's how you specify how many atoms you're going to have in this file. And so I'm just using format to put this in there. Uh, next, we'll say the number of atom types. And so it's same, the same type of format. We'll say number atom types. In this case, we only have one atom type. So we're just going to hard code that. Uh, now we'll do the box dimensions. And these are actually written very similarly. So this time there's going to be two. There's going to be a low and a high. And then the keywords that we use are x low, x high. And then our low is going to be 0, and our high is going to be system size. And we're actually just going to copy that for the other two dimensions, because they're going to look exactly the same in our case, except for this one will be y, and this one will be z. So there you go. So that's our header. We have atoms, atom types, and our box dimensions. And now we'll actually get to our atom section. And I'm going to write another new line in here also just for clarity again. So to start the atom section we actually just write and this this time uh, it needs to be capital. Notice all these are lowercase. This one actually needs to be capital. We'll say atoms. And again I'm, see I'm putting an extra new line in there. Um, this one actually needs that extra new line. It needs a blank line in between the title and where it starts. So make sure you have that. Now we can loop through the positions and write them all individually. Uh, so I'm going to pull up the documentation again. So for the positions, it matters what kind of atoms you write or what style of atoms you're writing. So there's a bunch of different atomic styles in LAMPS. Um, we're obviously just using the atomic atom style, which is this one here. And so this is the different um, keywords that we need to have. We need the atom ID, the atom type, and then the XYZ. Now, if we wanted to include velocities in this data file as well, that is another section that we have available to us. Uh, let me scroll up here. So you see here, here's all the sections that you can have. Um, you can have the atoms, velocities, masses, etc. So we could include that as well. But for this case, we're just going to assume they're fixed. Or not fixed, but uh, still. OK, so we'll write the atom ID. And then this one is for the atom type. We all only have one type, so we'll just put that in as one. 
and then x, y, z. So, uh, oh, we need the atom ID, so we're actually going to want to do an enumerate here. And this will give it us both the index and the value th as we're iterating through this array. But it'll start at zero because Python is zero indexed for its arrays. Um, and what we actually want is to start at one. Lamps is expecting atom IDs from one to n. So we'll do i plus one. And then I'm going to do this little uh, star POS for this position. And this will just expand that array so that I don't have to type the position zero, position one, etc. So this is just quicker that way. Oh, and don't forget a new line at the end of that or it won't work. I've done that many times. Okay, so that actually finishes the most basic data file you can write. Um, if you have bonds and angles, if you're doing some kind of molecule, um, you'll have further sections. As you can see here, there's bonds, angles, dihedrals, etc. So you could have lots of other things. You could also include your pair coefficients and stuff like that. I typically just like to set that stuff up in the LAMPS script, um, but if you needed to, you could add that in here as well. All right, so let's actually, let's actually look at how to get this into, uh, into LAMP, or yeah, into LAMPS. Well, Hold on, let's first write this data file. So I'm just gonna run this from the command line, let's say Python random atoms v2. Uh, let me get to the right folder first. And that one, there we go. Now you can see, yeah, we have that one there. So we'll say Python random atoms version two. And it'll take a few seconds. Of course, this just depends on how many atoms you decided to write. There we go. And that one's written. And you, can, you could pull that up and look at it if you wanted to. So if we open that up, you could see all your atoms and your tagline. Okay, now let's actually get this into into LAMPS. So I, I've already written the, the LAMPS input script, and actually all I've done here is just minimize it. Because if you create a bunch of random points, they're most likely, they're almost certainly going to be overlapping. And LAMPS doesn't do well if you have overlapping atoms because the force field's going to push them out at really high velocities and you'll most likely lose atoms. But if you use a minimize, then it'll only allow the atoms to move slowly um, and it'll just try to minimize the energy. And so this way you can get them, you know, not overlapping before you run a real um, molecular dynamics. So all I've done here is just, just done a minimize. Um, I've, I've done this in some of my other tutorials. And I set up the potentials. Um, these are using potentials that are in that repository that I, uh, that I set up. So you can do that. And then it's going to dump it here. So uh, this is the important part. All you have to do since you have the box dimensions and everything, all you have to do is just read the data in. Just read data and then your type of data. There are more, there's more functionality uh, if you have more complicated use cases and we'll get into that in some future videos, but that's the basic idea is just you read your data file in and then all you have to do is set up your potential and run. So I'll get here again and then we'll do mm, lamps and we'll do random minimize in. We do that and it should start running. Uh, this took about, one of the other times I ran it took about five minutes so I'm not gonna sit here and wait for it but uh, that's, that's basically how you write a data file in lamps. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll be working on some new videos uh, on more sophisticated ways and you know more complicated, um, you know molecules and geometries and stuff like that, and how you can how you can write those data files. But until then, um, good luck and thank you.